Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to the Grape Jelly Library. My name is Flossie, and I am so glad you could join me. I always look forward to your visit. my bookish friends. I am so glad that we get to spend this time together. I just finished cleaning. That sun is blazing and I should be out in it. It's early evening. Um, sun is still blazing. I should be out in it. Alas, I am in the house doing chores. If anybody has some tips and tricks, tips or tricks on how not to do chores, please comment below. I would love to hear your suggestions because I am telling you, a girl be fed up with the amount of chores that need to be done um, throughout a household. I have seriously had enough. So, um, yeah, there's that. Do you see my little friend there? I moved him. He's usually over here. But um, since Mr. Cat is there, I decided, I tidied up the library here. I decided I was going to move him hither to, okay? Um, and then I realized Mr. White Fox does not have a name. So, um, I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think he looks like? I don't know. Comment below. Um, let me know. What do you think I should name him? Because he's going to be there with me <laughs> for, for the rest of my videos. Um, I have no intention on getting rid of him. He's mine now. He's stuck with me. Um, I bought him from Pier 1 about... Mm, I'd say three years ago. They've closed down in my area, so my Pier 1 days are over, but I don't know. He's kind of cute. I bought him about three years ago, and yes, for sure, he is stuck with me. Comment below what you think I should name him. Today's video is all about bye-byes. Yes, bye-byes, because I haven't gone bye-byes for about two weeks since my whole food excursion. Um, it's pretty much been work, home, chores, work, home, chores, work, home, chores, blah, blah, blah. And I have had it up to hell. So um, yesterday and today, back to back, I went bye-bye and um Boy, am I glad I did. I cannot wait to share with you um, some of the finds that I was able to snag deals with. Um, yeah, so, okay, that's what today's video is about. It is also, today's video is also brought to you by the letter ladies and gentlemen today's video is also brought to you by the letter H H H for my last name Harrison H for the mood that I refuse to move away from happy and H for my favorite holiday that's coming up. Halloween. Yes. So I saw this letter H. It was on sale at Michael's and I said, letter H, what are you doing on that shelf? Get in my cart. And voila, home with me it came. It's adorbs. Look at them little flowers. Isn't that just exquisite? I love it. Now I have to find a home for it. All right. So seriously, guys, um, 
today's video is going to be a lot of bit of fun because I have a lot of fun things to share with you. Um, one, I'm looking down because that's where all my stuff is. That's where all my finds are. Um, so one, um, when I went to Whole Foods, I visited a bookstore, BAM Booksellers, um, yeah, Books a Million, um, and I went in there and I got two, three books that were a great deal. So I'm going to share them with you. I'm also going to share with you, I promised my friend that um, I was going to get her a book. I wanted to buy her a book. and. Um, when I went to get that book, ah, somebody else purchased it. And I don't remember the name of it. So um, empty hand it as far as that went. Um, I walked out the door. Um, as far as me, I was like, you know what? I seen, I seen a bookseller with his little table set up. And I, I was going to walk by and I was like, no, you know what? When somebody writes a book, you need to acknowledge. So I walked over to his table and I said, you know what? I'm going to support you and I'm going to buy your book. Also, um, because it was awfully fun looking, it is Medusa Rise of a Goddess by H. Dean Fisher. It's um, brand new and... He said to moi, what's your name? And I told him, he said, well, let's make this out to you. And I said, fantastic. And that's what he did. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so Barnes and Noble Booksellers is where I acquired this. This is where he was set up at. And um, super happy I made the visit that day. Um, Yeah, pretty awesome. Now, what makes this book even more awesome is two weeks later, which was today, Saturday, I am out and about with my sissies and um, I come across, <laughs> I come across this beaut. Look at this. It's Medusa. I was like, are you for real? Are you for real? And she is hollowed out. So you can do a thing if you're creative. Um, I'm not feeling very creative right now. I don't know what I would do in there. Um, but um, other than put a piece of floral foam, I don't know. But um, like snakes and stuff. But where would I get those? But um. I'm okay with it being hollow, uh, maybe a candy dish, <laughs> I don't know, but I think she's beautiful, and I have put her in her place, and this is her um, home. So what do you think, guys? What do you think? Isn't she adorable? Next to that book, she's adorable. That I don't know. It's these little things that make my heart happy. <laughs> I don't know, but I was super thrilled, super thrilled to find her. Um, and here's how I found her. I, I walked an aisle, um, and I didn't go down it, but I looked just literally like that, and I went, <gasps> Oh my God, that would be perfect, perfect for, you know, a prop for my book. And so, yeah, we pushed that cart down and said, Medusa, what are you doing on the shelf? Get in my cart. <laughs> yeah, so. All right, another thing that I found was um, 75, by the way, I should say, Right now at Michael's, 40% off. 
I don't know how long that sale will be, but right now she was 40% off and she is regularly, not too bad, $29.99 Canada, $39.99, and then an additional 20%, I mean 40% off of that. Yeah, so that is a pretty um, good buy. So now I said, oh my God, is that a scroll? Is that a scroll vase? And lo and behold, it was. Look at this thing. Is this adorable or what? It is a scroll. And it was normally $14.99 with 75% off. So um, it was literally like three bucks, three bucks and change. So I said, scroll, what are you doing? Yes, I said that. Get in my cart. All right, so now, guess what, guys? Two more things, two more things that I bought at, let me just put that there. Two more things that I bought at Michael's. I'm super excited, super excited. My son is a tattoo, a professional tattoo artist. And so I thought, oh, they're putting out their Halloween villages. And when I saw this, I just couldn't stand it. I was like, oh my God, that is just adorable. I'm gonna buy that for him. Look at this, look at this. This is fantastic. Uh, Ro the Skull and Rose Tattoo Studio by Lemix. Um, I'm trying to get that glare off. Look at how awesome that is. Look at that little snaky up there. Look how awesome it is. Um, okay, so let me just do this little disclaimer. Okay, guys, I know you're saying, what? Don't, don't do it. Um, we have our die hard fall lovers and our die hard summer lovers. I'm a die hard summer lover and I don't want to um, invest in anything fall um, related because I want to hold on to my summer for as long as I can. But when I see fun stuff like this, I have to get it because I know when the time comes, it won't be there. It won't be there on the shelves. All right, so I saw that, and then, ooh, child, and then I saw this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I can't even stand it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It's a book. It is a book, a haunted bookstore. I, the Ghost Writers Antique Bookstore. Can you even, can you even, that is just beyond, it's beyond my comprehension. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know. All right, so then, okay. All right, happy, happy, super happy. Now, the last thing that I want to show you guys are the three um, deals I got on books. Did I get deals? Yeah, I got deals. I got deals. I got three books. So let's just like do this, right? Well, this, um, I don't know. See how talented I am. We're going to see how talented I am for my thumbnail. How's that? <laughs> okay. So seriously, though, guys. All right. So one of the, one of the books I paid full price for, and I'm perfectly fine with that because it was adorable. I love her outfit. I love the name of it. I love the scenery. I am just adoring it. I cannot wait to read this. It's The Dollhouse, and it's written by Fiona Davis, and um, 
It's when she arrives at the famed Barbizon Hotel in 1952, secretarial school, enrollment in hand, Darby, what a lovely name, Darby McLaughlin is everything her model and agency hall mates aren't. Plain, self-conscious, homesick, and utterly convinced she doesn't belong. Yet, when Darby befriends Esme, another adorable name, a Barbizon maid, she's introduced to an entirely new side of New York City. Woo! New York City. All right, this is going to be a good one. Seedy jazz clubs, where the music is as addictive as the heroin that's used there. Woo! The startling sounds of bebop and even the possibility of romance. More than half a century later, the Barbizon's gone condo and most of its long ago guests are forgotten. But rumors of Darby's involvement in a deadly skirmish with a hotel maid back in 1952 haunt the halls of the building as surely as the melancholy music that floats from the elderly woman's rent-controlled apartment. Its combination too intoxicating for journalists, Rose Lewin, Darby's upstairs neighbor to resist, not to mention the perfect distraction from her own imploding personal life. Yet, as Rose's obsession deepens, the ethics of her investigation become increasingly murky, and neither woman will remain unchanged when the shocking truth is finally revealed. Sounds like I got a winner there. Now, the next two are definitely bargain-priced books. Cannot go wrong. The Pickwick Papers by Charles Dickens. I got this for $5.97. How can you go wrong? All right, let's see here. I just pulled that sticker back enough to tell you a little about it. Published in 1836, the Pickwick Papers not only introduced the quixotic figure of Samuel Pickwick, Esquire to the World, but also the immense talent of Charles Dickens. The 24-year-old Dickens applied his wonderful descriptive powers to a series of farcical events, which are still guaranteed to raise laughs. Among the other unforgettable characters are wily villain Alfred Jingle, inept Lothario Tracy Tupman, and perhaps best of all, crafty Cockney manservant Samuel Weller. With his idiosyncratic sayings and advice, every page bursts with comic invention as our rotund hero and his friends rattle round southern England in horse-drawn coaches. Let's see, I have another sticker. My apologies. Um, coaches on the lookout for Ad Bunchal. Yeah. $5.97. Oh, that goes over here. And my third book. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Self-Made, a Netflix limited series. I don't watch TV, so I don't know a thing about that. Perhaps you out there do. Um... But I'm going to read this. It is by Madam at four ninety seven for real four dollars and ninety seven. Madam C J Walker. Um, <laughs> I know that probably grossed some of you out. <laughs> Again, my apologies. The first full-scale definitive biography of a love of biography and an autobiography and a memoir. Okay, of Madam C.J. Walker, the legendary African-American entrepreneur and philanthropist by her great-great-granddaughter, Aaliyah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah Bundles. The daughter of enslaved people, Madam C.J. Walker, was orphaned at seven, married at 14, and widowed at 20. She spent the better part of the next two decades laboring as a washerwoman for $1.50 a week, 
Then, with the discovery of a revolutionary hair care formula for black women, everything changed. By her death in 1919, Walker managed to overcome astonishing odds, building a storied beauty empire from the ground up, amassing wealth unprecedented among black women, and devoting her life to philanthropy and social activism. Yeah, so um, I want to know. I want to know. Tell me. Tell me the story because I'm all ears. Um, so, yeah, they are my three, uh, two bargain books, three books, two bargain books, one regular priced book, but even at $16, that was still a bargain book. Um, yeah, so my two Halloween um fun little spook houses and my fun little medusa and also last but least i got these fun little candles to put on my shelves i love them they make my heart happy um yeah i love these candles and this is what they look like i just set them up randomly And yeah, my heart is singing with fulfillment and joy. Um, so yeah, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, until my next video, I love you. Be well, be good, be reading, and have a good day on purpose.